Some authors say ideas land fully formed in their heads, but it doesn't work like that for me. My ideas are more like seeds that sprout and grow into books. I find my ideas grow bigger, stronger and more impressive if I feed them with information and experiences. In 2016, when my first book, Beetle Boy, was published, I met lots of beetle girls and boys who loved bugs. And I discovered that many of them were also keen nature lovers and bird watchers. And this makes sense because birds eat insects. Bugs are an important part of the food chain for birds and small mammals. So all bird watchers know that beetles are important because if we have no insects, then we will have no birds. I wasn't a bird watcher, but I was struck by how passionate and happy people were who loved birds. And the seed of an idea had been planted. Thinking about bird watchers, I learned that they usually carry a pair of binoculars, sometimes a camera. They always have a notebook and a pencil to write down the birds that they see. They wear camouflage clothes and are really good at being patient, stealthy and observant. All of these things could be said of a good detective. And the idea that bird watchers would make good detectives grew in my imagination. And I thought about what types of outdoors adventures they might have. Not knowing a lot about bird watching, I decided to take my family on a research trip, gathering ingredients to feed my idea. I looked online and discovered a nature reserve in the Calder Valley in Yorkshire that had a really interesting mix of wildlife and it was called Cromwell Bottom. It was situated beside a canal so I decided we would hire a boat and sail down the canal to the nature reserve. I declared to my family that the trip was to be a bird spotting game. Every single bird you could spot and identify correctly would go into my book. And we spotted over 30 types of bird. But it wasn't just birds that we saw on our trip. I scribbled down every interesting thing that I saw into my notebook and I took photographs too. I used the official map of Cromwell Bottom as inspiration for Abe's Wood. And once I had my world for my bird watching detectives to live in, my idea grew and grew. I wanted an exciting first case for my detective to solve. So I thought about the most dramatic scene from one of my favorite books, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. In the opening of this book, Pip, a boy, is in a graveyard when he suddenly encounters a terrifying escaped convict. Thinking about this scene made my idea flower and suddenly I knew the book that I was going to write. Twitch.